All right, what's up, guys? This is Spooky, and this is my little mini rant about some of the netplay aspects and experience on Mortal Kombat 1. I'm hoping by putting everything into one video, you can ex see exactly why I feel so strongly about some of these problems and some of these things that are in the game. So anyway, first off, we're going to talk about training, all right? Now, when you're playing on Combat League, there's no downtime training mode or anything like that. You kind of stare at the screen as it searches for an opponent, and eventually, you get matched up. But in Tekken 7, as an example, the entire time you wait, you can practice your combos and your movement. If I want to practice something in MK, I got to dedicate full time to going back to the training mode and practicing what I want to practice. But here in Tekken, the whole time I'm online, whenever I'm waiting for an opponent, I can just practice up and keep my hands warm and keep it going and just keep on doing what I want to do. Now, this is another thing kind of related to that player experience, which is that you can't go AFK. You can't step away for any reason during the combat league matchmaking. So guess what? Your doorbell rang. Baby's crying. Your mom's about to come kick your ass. Well, too bad. You're getting matched up with somebody no matter what unless you mash exit on the screen. But in Tekken, as an example, and in some of the other games too, there's an AFK protection that will force you into an idle mode until you return back to your setup and then you're ready to play again. Now this one, this one is the most frustrating, which is that you can't decline any Wi-Fi players. Now when you play Tekken, you could decline a match for any reason. It could be a perfect looking connection off the bat. You know what? You're just not feeling good in that moment. Bam, decline. You can go right back to just training and practicing until the next time it matches you up against somebody. But in Mortal Kombat, unless you're above a certain ping range, you can't decline. Period. Even if they have Wi-Fi. Even if they all have Wi-Fi, okay? Here's a montage of Wi-Fi opponents that I've faced off against. This is omega annoying. It's crazy annoying. Why can't you decline all these people? So, of course, people are extra encouraged to get on their trash Wi-Fi because they know you can't decline them anyway, so they'll just use any type of connection. It really just doesn't matter. Anyway, that's, this is for real the biggest thing that I hope that they'll fix and they'll do something about because it's so irritating. All right, so this one is, is also annoying, but it's not like the end of the world, all right? This one is that after a match is over on Combat League, your usual human nature is you're going to mash X or, you know, or whatever your, your button is, and you're going to try to move on to the next match. But guess what? Don't do that in this game, because if you do, you'll end up in a casual match, have to back out everything, and then you have to go right back into Combat League, which is kind of annoying. This really should not be the default option. I don't really too, know too many people that do this and say, oh, well, you know, I'm going to play a casual match now against this guy that I just played on rank. Most people just want to move on to the next rank match and keep on either improving their game or trying to continue to rank up. All right. Now, this last one is just talking about the lobbies in general, all right? Now, here's the Street Fighter VI Battle Hub lobby experience. It's so beautiful. You have your cool avatar that you make, and then you go in the lobby, and you get to walk around and see other avatars and just people, and you can have avatar battles against them if you want, or the two you can sit down at a cabinet and you can play against each other. And there's also little side mini games you can play when you're bored of just playing Street Fighter, and it has, you know, so many little things that are awesome to it. And by the way, while you're in the battle hub, you can also do all these other things that I was talking about. So you can decline Wi-Fi players if you want to, and you can go online and play against people the whole time if you want, while you're also doing avatar battles and everything else that you're doing. The lobby experience can just be all one seamless thing that's just a part of your experience in the game. Now, if I was to compare that to what we would call a lobby in Mortal Kombat 1, I mean, this is basically non-existent. It's just you go into a little room and, you know, two people play each other and everybody else that's in the room basically gets to spectate and that's all there is to it. It's very simple. It's very dumbed down. And it's, it's kind of, you know, considering that some of the rest of the game, like the story mode, has like some real glamour to it. This is like so not glamorous and just not really how they normally would do things. So I'm really a little surprised at this one that there's not more of a lobby experience. And, you know, the, 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 you know, especially compared to SF6. SF6 looks so crazy. Anyway, that's pretty much it, guys. This is my little rant about the netplay experience on Mortal Kombat 1. Let me know what you guys think about it and your thoughts on netplay and MK1 and how you think they could improve it. And, uh, you know, well, hopefully we can all give them some feedback together and put them, help them put together something that will be uh, much better than what they have right now.